So here's the reality. A lot of guys have experienced uh, being with a woman that they were very emotionally invested in, that they really tried hard to make things work with. And unfortunately, that relationship did not go as they hoped. And, you know, a breakup occurred at some point. You know, they, they lost that woman. And the man was hurt by it, deeply hurt by it. And the man tries to move on, tries to just get over it. But the, it's a struggle. And it feels like it's a battle that the man, he can't win, you know? And it's, it's a common thing. Like, I, I know sometimes you may see a lot of men talk real tough on the internet and act like F these women and all this stuff. But yo, like a lot of the average man has experienced something close to this. Okay. Has been hurt by a woman before. It's normal. But I, I want to help you through this struggle because I understand how difficult it can be. And I think, well, now I think I know that some of the reasons why a man struggles with getting over that woman is because he doesn't understand what's at the root of it. He doesn't understand what's really playing into it. It's very easy for us to assume. And sometimes it is a matter of love, and I'll get into that a little bit later. But it's easy to sometimes attribute all of our struggle to let go or to get over her with, I'm just madly in love with her. But that's not always the case. There's more to the story than that. So let me break some stuff down for you. The first reason why, man, you can't get over her is because you're a relationship guy. So here's what I mean by that. I have observed that there are men, there, there are some men out there who love being in the streets, all right? But being out there, messing around with different women, all that kind of stuff, they, they generally enjoy it. Some don't enjoy it, but they do it because they think they're supposed to, all right? But then there are men who just don't care for that. That's not their thing. They love relationship. They love stability. They love consistency. You give them that one woman who's willing to pour into their needs, they're good. They don't, they're, they're, not, they're not complaining. They're not asking for more, all right? And so what I have seen is that the guy who is what I call a relationship guy tends to struggle even more when it comes to a breakup and letting go of a woman or getting over a woman because that kind of guy, again, does not desire this new opportunity to be out here dating other women. He doesn't care about that kind of stuff. Not to mention... Well, before I even get to what I'm going to say, he, he just, it, it's not comfortable for him to be in this space of having to date and put himself out there. But now the point I was going to make is that, not to mention that that kind of guy typically does not, is not accustomed to being by himself. Okay, so when you are a relationship guy, many times you're a guy who finds himself or gets himself into relationship after relationship. You're quickly moving into them. You don't give yourself time to heal. So that's a big problem right there. And we'll discuss that a little bit later. But you don't know how to be alone. It's, it's a weird thing for you. All right. So now to not have this woman any longer in your life becomes an even greater struggle because you're not just battling the loss of her. You're battling not having someone there. You're battling having to operate in a new space. You're battling the idea of having to put yourself out there and date different women. You're battling also possibly the idea of, you know, am I even going to find another good woman or a woman that I'm really into? All these things contribute to why it makes it so hard. So you've got to be real with yourself. Are you a relationship guy? And if you are, the, the main thing I want you to take away from this point is... Have you learned how to be alone? You know what I'm saying? Because if you haven't, this, this is actually a blessing in disguise. This is a great opportunity for you to take time to yourself because in learning how to be alone, you will empower yourself to not become attached and, and not become so dependent on relationships and women. Not that there's anything wrong with wanting a woman or wanting a relationship. That's a beautiful thing. I don't ever want to discourage that, but I don't want you to be overly dependent 
on that, where you now struggle to function when you don't have that. And then that leads you to getting with people who don't belong in your life, getting with women you shouldn't be entertaining because you need to have a relationship there. All right. So now uh, a second reason why you can't get over her is because of beauty and or sex. All right. So another one of the things I've seen happen a lot is when a man is highly attracted to a woman, it makes it harder to let her go and, and accept things are over. This, this is even more true if you are not accustomed to getting women of that level of beauty, okay? So to you, it's like, I finally snatched me, let's just say a nine, I don't know, right? And you're used to only getting fives, okay? It, it now messes with you in a way where it's like, yo, I don't, I don't want to miss out on having this nine. It, it made you feel so good to have such a beautiful woman on your arm. And you overlook her toxic, toxic, eh, I'm not saying the word right. You overlook her toxic ways. You overlook her bad attitude. You overlook that there's a lot of things wrong in this relationship. But because she's so beautiful to you and you're so attracted to her, you don't want to accept this being over and you hold on for dear life. But then that extends past beauty onto sex. Because listen, though, though men may not be as quick as an average woman to get emotionally attached due to sex. And when I mean emotionally attached, let me be more specific. To let the sex drive their desire for relationship with that person, right? It is still, or, you know what? I take that back. I, let's just remove that point for a second. What I, you know, listen, what I'm going to say is this. I, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. What I'm going to say is this. The point is, I have seen plenty of men who have gotten attached to a woman because of the sex, because the sex was good, because having sex with a woman that beautiful, um, you, you know, she does certain things. Sex does have that power or sexual acts does have that power to cause a man to want to hold on to a woman he shouldn't be holding on to. I'm going to give you an example. I'm, I'm going to use myself. I remember one time I was a lot younger, right? I was dating this girl. It was nothing serious. It's going to be casual. And I knew that from the jump. And I wasn't, I wasn't selling her any kind of dream otherwise, right? Anyways, we would engage in certain acts. And, and she, she was really good orally. Let's just put that, all right? She was amazing, okay? All right. At that point, best ever, hands down, okay? And I remember thinking, dang, if I don't make this woman my girl, I might lose out on getting this consistently. And for a split second, I contemplated making her my girl. But thank God I snapped out of it really fast. And I was like, wait a minute, that's horrible. I can't do that. I'm not going to make her my girl just so I can keep getting this, this done to me. All right. And, you know, I, I end up letting the situation go. Now, here's the reality. There's a lot of men who they'll fall into that trap. They, they won't snap out of it the way that I did, all right? And I consider myself a very aware person. So I know if I had that moment, many other men have had that moment. And I know this also because I've coach a, I coached a lot of men. And I've seen how that can reel you in and make you struggle to accept that this woman isn't best for you. Or this is just not the time for y'all to be in a relationship right now. And you're letting the sex or her beauty blind you from that reality. All right, so let's keep this going. And the third reason why you can't get over her is because you feel like you need her. So again, this, this goes back to my earlier point of being too dependent on a relationship or on a woman. But let's, let's focus more so on if you are a man who you got with a woman while you were still trying to build yourself up or haven't even figured yourself out yet and, and gotten things together and this woman comes into your life and she's willing to be, you know, help you and push you and pour into you and do all these things, which, which sounds great on the surface. 
But unfortunately, what it can create is this attachment to her because now your ability to grow is connected to her doing things for you or her doing things for you in the sense of maybe she's the one who put in the applications to get you the job. Maybe she's the one that made sure this thing got handled so you can get your stuff together. Whatever it is, you've leaned on her so much that now you don't know how to operate without her. And because of that, you now struggle with her being gone. And the reality, what what you're probably not even realizing is that might be one of the exact reasons why she's gone. If Because listen, a lot of women, when they're willing to get with a man and help you or build with you initially, they're doing so with the mentality that at some point you're going to be able to take over and take the burden off of them. Not that they're going to have to continuously do this, all right? Now, I want to give you a warning right now. Some women are hoping you will never become that man because they're trying to keep that leverage over you. And that's why I was, I'm not quick to always label the woman who's willing to take the man at his low point and build with him as always this genuine, loving thing. Sometimes it is just for her to have greater power. It is is where she feels safer because she feels like she has more value than you. And because she does feel like you need her, she thinks that gives her greater security. But we won't get too deep into that. What I want you to focus on is if you have come up in that kind of relationship and, and, and let's go back to the woman who was hoping you would finally take the reins and handle business. Well, if you have continued to be dependent on her, you are wearing her down. And it may get to a point where she's like, I can't do this anymore. You have to learn how to stand up on your own two feet. So the reality is that though we're talking about why you can't go get over her, and, and for many of you, you, you really need to, I will just throw in the fact that if you are hoping to get that woman back and that is your situation, then you're going to have to learn to handle your business first. You're going to have to learn how to support yourself first, where she is no longer your crutch. Once you can establish that, then you would have a greater chance of possibly getting back together and now having an actual healthy relationship that can last. But understand that, yes, that kind of dynamic creates a situation where you will struggle to get over this woman. All right. So now the fourth reason why you can't get over her. And this is a big one we got to talk about because I see it so much. And the reason why is because you are holding on to her potential and not accepting her reality, okay? Here's what I mean by that. There are so many men, and it might be you, that you're with this woman, and when you really break the whole thing down, she's not doing everything she's supposed to do. She is not being everything you need her to be, but she has flashes of it. She has moments where she shows that those values that you care about, that, that energy that you want from her, right? And so you start to believe that, okay, if we could just work through whatever, or if she could just heal from her past, maybe she has daddy issues, or maybe she hasn't gotten over previous relationships. And you're thinking, man, if we could just get over that hump, the woman that I believe she can be, the woman that I believe that's in her, hiding behind all the other negative stuff, Oh, we will be so happy and everything will be so great. All right. And so now you accept or you tolerate and deal with her toxic behavior because you're holding on to that hope. Now, let me make something very clear. You cannot heal her. You can't. All right. This idea that if I just love her and keep pouring into her, she'll finally, you know, realize her potential and everything will be awesome. That is extremely rare. The reason why is because, one, healing is a personal choice. She has to be willing to make that for herself. You can encourage her, you can support her, but you can't force it on her. You can't guarantee that she will do it. Some women, may, some people never will heal. They will go to their grave holding onto their baggage. So you, you got to be mindful of it. If she's not willing to take that step, you've got to be willing to let go or accept that in this case, if she's gone, 
let it ride because she has to figure that out on her own. But also understand that while in this, this, this fantasy that you're holding of her may not even be truly who she can be. Like potential is an assumed thing. It's, we're assuming that this is what they can reach. We're assuming that this can be their, the best version of themselves. But we may not be seeing who they truly are. And if she is hurt, if she is holding on to things, then there's a lot that could be misrepresented in this process that has confused you and you don't even understand that right now. So you've got to come to a place of accepting that, listen, if, if I'm struggling to get over this woman, why? What, what is it about her? Because again, it, in the vast majority of cases, when, when the man starts running down the quality of that relationship, there are so many holes in it. There are so many problem areas that I'm like, yo, like I, I can't tell you how many DMs I've gotten from dudes who let's say it's, they're still with the woman, but they're having a fight in the moment, or maybe they're having a break or whatever. And he'll be like, yeah, man, she doesn't really respect me. She's always yelling at me. She never appreciates things, but, but how do I get her back? It's like, wait, what? <laughs> like, yo, you, you're just overlooking all of that. What's, what's really going on here? And it's the potential thing that is a big issue amongst the other things I've been mentioning and a few more that I will mention. The potential is big. So ask yourself, am I holding on to her reality? of who she has shown herself to be to me or the potential of who I hope she is. And if it's the potential, you got to let that go because that's, that's really messing you up. All right. So number five, fifth reason why you can't get over her is because you refuse to accept the loss. So what do I mean by that? What I mean is that when we invest time, energy, money, effort into someone that's a huge investment and for many people they want to receive a return on that investment and so when the relationship ends it starts to feel like I wasted my time I wasted all this money I wasted all this effort and in trying to now correct that in our head and feel like it wasn't a waste, that it was worth it, that all the fighting I did to defend this woman to my friends and family, because that, that happens a lot, I now have to get her back or I want her back badly to make this wrong right. Rather than saying to ourselves, wait a minute, maybe this is just a bad investment. And you got to ask yourself, do you want to sink with the ship or take your lifeboat and float to safety? And right now, if you're already broken up, this is your chance to get in that lifeboat and float to safety and focus on the things that you need to be doing in your life rather than trying to get back on that boat that is sinking and it ain't going nowhere. And, and you, you have to understand that, listen, in life, we're going to make bad investments. We, we have to accept the losses, but learn from them, all right? Don't, don't let that become an attachment in your life. Let that become a chance to learn and grow from it. But let me also say this. I, I do think we have to learn that when we get into relationships as men or even in the dating process as men, don't give what you're not willing to lose, so it's like, yo, if you're, if, if spending, let's say, for example, a thousand dollars on this woman is going to make you feel cheated, used, abused, whatever, if things don't work out, don't spend a thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Spend what you are comfortable with losing if things don't work out, because there's always the possibility of things not working out. And really what it boils down to is, Give not with the expectation, but give because you are you're okay and want to pour this into someone. So it's like, yo, if I spend a thousand dollars on a woman because I generally wanted to give her that, spend that on her, or whatever the case may be. And I'm not saying it's in one shot, it can be spread out, whatever, right? Then if things don't work out, I shouldn't be sitting there thinking about how I spent a thousand dollars. That should be the last thing I'm worried about. 
It's like, yo, because if I gave it genuinely, why am I stressing about that? It is what it is. It happens. That's life. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you guys got to enjoy certain moments with it, but you, you can't, nothing's guaranteed. So I, I do think that we have to be mindful of if investing certain things is going to be a problem for you. And of course, there's, there's certain points where there's, there's certain, it's, in, it's hard to escape that. Meaning if this relationship goes as far as marriage, and you build a life with this woman, house, all these things, investments, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to still be a hard pill to swallow. So I don't want to minimize the fact that it's still a hard pill to swallow because the longer we're with someone, the more we've naturally invested in them. So we can't fully escape that idea of, well, I won't regret everything I did. But I, I, I would encourage you to try to get out of that mindset and to more focus on, okay, do I belong there or not? Because if I don't, let me accept whatever loss comes with that. Let me understand. Listen, whatever we pour into someone, you know, time, well, we can't get back time, but we can take advantage of the time that we still have and make the best of it. But if we're busy dwelling on things that no longer serve us, that should not be in our life, that weren't even best for us, then we are now continuing to waste the time, the precious time that we have still ahead of us. So focus on what's important, focus on you, and understand when it's just time to accept the loss. All right, so this brings me to number six, and number six kind of sums up pretty much everything I've been talking about today. And that is, you can't get over her because you have an unhealthy attachment to her. So remember when I said earlier how, you know, it's easy to think that our struggle to uh, let go, to accept that things are over with a woman is because we're so in love with her. And, I, and I'm, again, I'm going to talk about that in a second, specifically when that's a real thing. But a lot of times it wasn't that we're in love, it's that we're attached. So it's all these things I mentioned. It's attached because of that investment that we've made. It's attached because you're afraid to be alone or are not comfortable being alone. It's attached because you spent all this time trying to prove to everyone this was the right one and now you have to accept that this isn't going to work out the way that you want to. It's attachment because you feel like you have nobody else. Some, some guys, that's their, their relationship, that woman was all they had. You know what I'm saying? And they don't know how they're going to live life alone again, so to speak. Um, and it can be various things. It can be attachment because of financial things getting tied up. It, it, it can be attachment because of sex. All these things that we talked about all boils down to an unhealthy attachment. And we have to learn how to recognize and differentiate unhealthy attachment from real love. All right. And one of the ways you do that is asking yourself, why am I really here? What's really keeping me here? Again, it's, 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 I'm going to be very skeptical that this is real love. If when you break down the relationship to me, all I'm hearing is unhealthy, toxic stuff. Of course, there may be moments of good. I think everybody has some good moments. You know what I'm saying? But when it's so consistently unhealthy, when you're not truly happy, there are so many men who are miserable in the relationship right now. They're there and they're miserable, but they don't know how to let go. All right. And the unhealthy attachment creates a greater struggle to walk away. And part of what contributes to an unhealthy attachment even being created is a lack of healing, all right? As men, we have to heal. People in general have to heal. But I'm saying as men because I do feel like a lot of guys have suppressed the, the hurt and disappointment they've been through in life. And they've, they've not allowed themselves to express and release the, these things. And so now it's wreaking havoc on you in various ways. It's wreaking havoc on your health, whether you realize it or not. It's wreaking havoc on your ability to have a healthy relationship. It is contributing to how you end up in these unhealthy attachments and dealing with these toxic women or women who are not best for you. It all stems from you need to heal. Do not be ashamed or afraid to seek counseling, to get help. We all need it at some point in our lives, all right? Now, I do believe it is possible for us to fully heal. Some people think you'll never be fully healed. I don't think that's true. I think you can. 
But regardless, and even if you don't think there's something there for you to, to uncover, try it out. It's like going to the doctor for a checkup. Sometimes we go to the doctor, get a checkup, we think we're good, and we find out, oh, there's something we were overlooking this whole time. Same thing can happen emotionally. So I encourage you to do that. If you, one of the resources you can use, I have a book called Love After Heartbreak. Check it out. It gives you the steps to healing. It is a book for men and women, all right? So either, either sex can read it, and tons of men have read it, followed the steps, and they have seen amazing results. So you can click the link in the description or in the comment section, get your copy. It is going to help you. And it is especially help you if you are currently going through a situation where you are struggling to get over a woman. All right. And so now the last point I want to make reason why you can't get over her is because the love is real. All right. So I don't want to discount the fact that there are some situations where when you boil down to, what it all boils down to is that there was a real connection there. There was real love there. Now, I think for you to really see that more clearly, healing is going to help you see that more clearly. Asking yourself what was really driving you to be there. Making sure none of the other points I mentioned on this list apply to you. And I think if, if we can cross all those off, then we can say, okay, you know what? This may have just been genuine love. And so... That makes it a lot harder to accept that things are over, right? But what I want to encourage you with is one, one, understand that sometimes it's, it's just right person, wrong time. I know some people don't believe in that, but I truly believe in it. I've seen it a tons of times where sometimes you can meet that right woman, but it's not the right time to be with her. Now, I don't want you to take that as, okay, well, let me just hold on forever that to the idea that we'll eventually be back together. No, I, I, I just want, but I do want you to know that it's a possibility. It does exist. It's out there, right? I also want, but there, the reality is that some people, even when they have a connection, don't end up back together for various reasons. Most, most times it's due to a lack of healing and due to situations kind of getting messy afterwards. That's a whole different video I'll do for y'all to break that down. But I think the other thing to accept when the love is real and we're struggling to get a, get over her, is the goal shouldn't even be about getting over her. It's about accepting the path we need to be on right now. So whether that's right person, wrong time, whether that's it's just not going to work out for various reasons, whatever it is, we have to accept, all right, I do love her. I, I embrace that. But, for what I, but I accept the fact that right now this isn't working out. And this isn't time for us or may not ever be time for us. And I have to now shift my focus back onto what I need to do in my life. Because if you sit there and try to fight your feelings for her, you will only make it worse. It's almost like trying to get out of quicksand. And the more you fight, the deeper you sink in. So don't fight it. Don't fight. Okay, I love her. So be it. It was real. So be it. I, I accept that for what it is, but I also accept that I have to go on this new path and do what I need to do. Now, of course, it, depending on what led to the breakup, there may be ways to work things out. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and make things a lot better. But you, you just got to, that, that's going to require just some deeper reflection and you know, if, if you watch any of my previous videos, then you know I am a man of God, so I'm always going to encourage prayer. Prayer and talking to God is going to help guide you in these situations, help you understand, okay, what do I need to be doing right now? Asking God, okay, how do I handle this situation? And just listening to the answer you get from within, within your spirit, and you roll with that, and you walk in faith, and you just, you know, do the work you need to do. And, and stay focused and stay strong and understand that at the end of the day, whether this is a woman that will eventually come back around, you can make it work with, or this will never pan out. One way or another, you getting on the correct path will set you up for an even bigger blessing. So again, that blessing could be her coming back around and it's going to be even better than ever, or it could be a new person, new situation that's going to be more amazing than you could have ever imagined. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. Number one step 
in getting her back is regain your masculine energy. Now, what do I mean by this? I've seen a lot of men, I've had a lot of men DM me hurt because they lost their woman and they may be begging.